Step 3. Partial Structure Display In this step, we will discuss ARCHICAD's Partial Structure Display feature. This is extremely useful when exchanging design data with the structural consultants who use only the structural load-bearing core of the project for the basis of the calculations. We will also present how to publish an entire set of DWG drawings with the click of the mouse. Activate the preset view in the partial structure display folder of the Navigator view map. As you can see, the composite structures in the floor plan have all their skins fully displayed. Select the Design Complex Profiles Profile Manager menu to display the Profile Manager dialog. Click the Choose Profile button and select the External Concrete Plus Brick Veneer profile from the drop-down list. Click the Edit Chosen Profile button to display the Graphical Profile Editor window. Zoom in on the cross-section of the profile so you can clearly see all skins. Disable True Line Weight at the View, On-Screen View Options, True Line Weight menu. All line weights will be displayed with a uniform thin line now. Click the thickest concrete block skin to select it. Expand the Components Selected panel in the Profile Manager dialog. The Core Component option defines the selected skin as core. The core skin of the complex profile represents the structural skin. The Finish Component option defines the selected skins as a finish of the composite profile, such as plaster. In our case, the concrete block skin is the core, while all other skins are finishes of this composite profile. Close the Profile Manager dialog. Select the document Partial Structure Display menu item to display the Partial Structure Display dialog. In this dialog, you can set how you want complex and composite structures to be displayed. The entire structure radio button displays all skins. The core only radio button displays only skins that are designated as core skins. This option is great for sending structural data to structural consultants. The without finishes radio button displays all skins except those designated as finish skins. This is useful when certain types of drawings must be displayed, calculated, and submitted with or without finishes. Select the Core Only Radio button and click OK to proceed. The complex walls in the floor plan are now displayed with their core skins only. Make sure the groups are not suspended. Shift-click the wall near Label 1 to select it. This will select all exterior walls belonging to the same group, including the other wall at Label 2. Right-click on an empty area and select the Show Selection Marquee in 3D from the context menu. The 3D window opens and displays the previously selected external walls. Zoom out and orbit if necessary to achieve a good 3D view of the walls. Notice that in the 3D window, the entire structure is displayed. This is because the Partial Structure Display option can be set for each viewpoint type separately. So you may have structures on the floor plan displayed with their core only, but displayed in full in 3D. Select the document, Partial Structure Display menu, to display the cores only in the 3D window. Go back to the floor plan and deselect the walls. Click the Structural Consultant folder in the View Map to select it. Click the Clone a Folder button at the bottom of the View List window to display the Clone Folder dialog. Cloning a folder is a unique way of creating a series of similar views in ARCHICAD. If you clone a folder, you create an identical folder with the original viewpoints of the specified project map folder. 
We can save floor plan views of all stories with the required settings suitable for the structural consultants in one step. Select the Stories container in the Identification page of the dialog. Switch to the General page and select the Structural Item in the Layer Combination pop-up list. Set the Model View options for Structural also. Make sure that the Structural Display field is set to Core only. Remember that Partial Structure Display settings are saved with Views. Now, we have specified a new set of project views to be used when saving DWG files for the structural consultants. Click the Clone button to create the new cloned stories container in the view map with the previously defined view settings. Double click the first floor view to activate it. The floor plan window displays structural walls and columns with their core components only ready to be sent to the structural consultants. Click the Project Chooser button at the top left corner of the Navigator palette. Display the Project Organizer by selecting Show Organizer from the list. Select the view map on the left side of the organizer. Switch to the Publisher sets on the right side. Click on the Structural Consultant folder on the left side to select it from the list. Drag and drop it by holding down the mouse button into the List field on the right side of the organizer. A Structural Consultant folder is created in the Publishing Sets. Open it to display its exact content. Notice that the Stories folder contains every floor of the project. Click the Publisher Set Chooser and Manager button and choose Publisher Sets to display the available Publisher Sets. Choose the Microsoft Building Graphisoft Park Set and click the Publishing Properties button to display the Publisher Properties dialog. Select Save Files in the Publishing Method field and notice that there are other publishing options as well. You can print or plot the sets or even upload them to the Internet if you wish. Click the Browse button and select a location on your hard drive for the files to be saved. In this example, we'll save the Structural Publisher set to the Chapter 7 folder of this training guide. Make sure that the Create a Real Folder Structure radio button is selected. Click OK to accept these changes and proceed. Double-click the Microsoft Building Graphisoft Park Publisher set to open it. Click the Structural Consultant folder to select it. Expand the Format panel in the Project Organizer. Select the DWG file format from the pop-up list. Click the Stories folder in the list to select it. Choose this set from the Sets to Output list next to the Publish button at the bottom of the palette. Finally, click the Publish button to start the publishing process. The publishing dialog opens and displays the progress of the process. Publishing may take minutes depending on the speed of the computer. When publishing is completed, a green check mark will appear before the name of each floor and the status column will display saved for all files. Click the close button to close the dialog. Also, close the project organizer palette. Select the location of the published set on your computer and display its content. The DWG set is now saved and can be sent to the structural consultant. This concludes Chapter 7.